then the point is that we're hearing from your party that what happened, the approval of Ken Oforiata was a party decision. You have been in parliament before, and I'm sure you understand how the leadership dynamics and how it goes. You work hand in hand with your party. How is that party decision enforced, if you like, or implemented by the minority become a problem for the minority leader as a person? If the leadership is taking you know, decisions like this, then the leadership is clearly out of touch. Which leadership? Minority it in parliament? Is, not, is it the minority in parliament you know, it, or the I'm, I'm NDC leadership? I'm talking about the part. I'm talking about the party. You know, as you're quoting, um, the general secretary had indicated that this is a decision of the party. Yep. If the party is taking these kinds of decisions, then it clearly means the party is completely out of touch with reality. And that is why I'm hoping that leadership at headquarters would wake up and smell the coffee. We have an issue. The rank and file, the base of the party, is not happy with happenings in parliament. And the sooner the party facilitated some changes in leadership, the better for all of us. I'm, I'm wondering, the, you indicated earlier that what you want is an elected leadership, if I got you right, and not a coronation. If, I wanted you to break it down if, a bit more for us. What does if, it mean? If, 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 if there is a vote of no confidence, then clearly, you know, you would expect, you know, a new crop of leadership in, 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 in parliament or some changes, you know, in the leadership. And that obviously, what would sync very well with, with, with members of parliament would be you know, an election of the leadership because they want, they obviously would want a leadership they have confidence in, you know, and, and not a coronation as we have seen in this eighth parliament and in the seventh parliament. You, 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 do you want the minority leader out? Well, clearly he's, he's lost control of the, of, the, of the minority. I mean, in parliament, clearly he's lost the confidence of, 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 of a lot of um, 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 minority members even though many may not be speaking about it publicly and for good reason. Many may not be speaking about it publicly because some of these issues are beyond their pay grade and um, they might not want to be seen expressing their, their, their opinion publicly. But if Parker were to put forward the names of the MPs who criticized the Honorable Okujoto Ablaka, I can assure you that there would be a lot of... Um, there would be a lot of discontent in their respective con constituencies. And for those who have decided to, to go with the status quo, they should be bold enough, you know, and not to speak off camera, but to actually come out and say the position the Honorable Ablaka has taken is not the appropriate position. They should come out and boldly say that they are in support of the decision to approve the Minister for Finance in spite of difficulties. Some of, who, some of which border on breaches of our laws as explained by the minority leader himself on the floor of parliament. Did he lose you as a minority member when you were in parliament? Did he lose you as a leader? Did he lose you as a, as a person when you were in well, parliament? Well, I, 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 I lended my support, you know, whenever my support was needed and I disagreed you know, um, um, whenever I felt strongly about some of some of the issues, and you would remember the elections of um, the um, you know the MM, MMDCs that came came before Parliament. You know, um, in the past, where I publicly expressed you know um, um, a different view to the position the party had taken. You know, so members of Parliament should be encouraged. You know, uh, to test the polls of their constituents and the constituents of our MPs, the supporters in the various constituencies are saying they are not happy with the, the, the decisions happening in parliament. And that has to be respected. If anyone says it's a, leadership, it's, it's a decision of the leadership at party headquarters and for which reason it's a case closed, I'm afraid the person is not doing the party any good. We have Question. a problem, mm. there's growing discontent and anger amongst our base and rank and file. And we have to deal with this challenge. And the challenge stems from a lack of confidence. So okay. the base of the party has lost confidence okay. in the leadership in parliament. And some members of par parliament have obviously lost um, 
confidence in the leadership. That, that's a point that you have made. This is my final question, um, um, which is that if you believe that the minority leader should be out at this point, who, who do you have in mind to take his position? I, wouldn't, I, would, I would not prefer an opinion on that. Mm. You seem to know who could do the work better, and you can give some, uh, you can give some ideas. W w wouldn't you do that? It's, it's best to leave it to um, um, MPs in Parliament, you know, um, well. to, 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 to pass that judgment on who can best take, take the party forward in the next um, uh, four years. Very well. Ras, thank you so much for your but, time. Ras but, Mubarak. But, uh, Ras Mubarak there is member of former member of parliament for Kumungu there who says that what is happening in parliament is a sign of it's a vote of no confidence in a minority leader. He wants the minority minority leader out from that position. Kwesi Paka Wilson is my is our correspondent in parliament. He's still on the line with me. There's still a lot of things going on in parliament. So Paka will help us to wrap that up. But uh, other member of uh, other parliamentary correspondent Joseph Opoku Gakbo, who has been in parliament with this group, you know. Uh, for the while, will also join us with and share his perspective. Apaka, the minority leader that you spoke to said there was no problem. He is the minority leader. As we're hearing from Ras Mubarak, there seem to be members of parliament within minority uh, minority members of parliament within uh, 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 the house who are equally not happy, uh, but are not bold enough to speak out about it. That, that is very true. In fact, um, I have had interactions with some of the NDC MPs in the House that clearly uh, those who have expressed their sentiments would let you know that they are unhappy with the decision taken by the leadership of the House. But however, they want to stick with the position of the party. And I wanted you to ask Rasumbura because this has come up, this came up this morning, that the cause he is making against the leadership of the NDC in the House is baseless. Because at the time when he, Rasmbarak himself, uh, went against or voted against the position of the party in the election of MMDC, he was made to, to face the disciplinary committee of the party. The party had issued a turn and whip asking all their members to vote against that move. But he decided to go the other way. And at the end of the day, he was sanctioned by the party. He was made to face the disciplinary committee of the party. And with that, he decided to uh, reverse his action or rescind his decision on the matter. So clearly, if the party is asking you to approve Ken Osoyata as the finance minister, the leadership of the NDC, nor any of the members of the party do have a choice. They don't have a choice. Even if they disagree with the leadership of the party, because they work under the body and the umbrella of the NDC, they will have to submit themselves. Though they disagree, they respect the view of the leadership. And that was exactly what uh, Isaac Adongo said when I spoke to him uh, yesterday that he strongly disagrees with the position or decision taken by the leadership. However, he respects the view. The mm. approval has been done or has been given. We should move on as a nation. We should move on as a party. And he called for calm. So okay. the argument about Rasmbach asking that um, because... Parker, the let me jump in there, pa Parker. Let me jump in there, Parker. I, I want you to... Right. I, I want us to hear from the Executive Director for the Africa Center of Parliamentary Affairs, SEPA, Dr. Rashid Rahman, who has also been commenting on this. He's followed Parliament and they've been doing a lot of work in Parliament. Baka, don't go away. I want to come back to you and also to engage uh, Joseph Opoku Gakbu. But let's listen to Dr. Rashid Rahman, who says uh, the, resi the resignation and the other development going on in, in, in Parliament amounts to a crisis. Uh, the situation that we, we saw four years ago that involved the same honorable uh, member who has turned in his resignation right now. If you remember, during the version of honorable, uh, uh, there was a scandal that broke out in terms of money issues and so on. Uh, now we don't know what is. Uh, you know, forcing this honorable member to resign. Um, we know leading up to this, all the concerns from the minority uh, side, they are food soldiers, including even the, the honorable member that you just, you just. So I think there are questions, and this, you know, um, raise those questions raise credibility issues, um, if you like, about you know, the 
Games Committee itself. And mm. this, I think, is just... Apologies for the cracks in the sound there, <laughs> on cracks there. Well, that's uh, Dr. Rashid Draman uh, speaking uh, on, the, on the back of what's happening. Let me bring in Joseph Oboku Gakmu, my colleague who also is a correspondent, our parliamentary correspondent. Uh, co Joseph. Yeti, how are you doing? I'm good. I can see you're good doing very good. Yes. So, 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 Joseph, let's do this really quickly. You have been following the events uh, in parliament, but... You've also stayed with this particular crop of uh, uh, member of I mean, many many of them before uh, you had to you had to travel. What do you see based on what you know from you know uh, the previous parliament and what is happening now? Do you also see it as a crisis and as a vote of no confidence, as uh, Ras Mubarak puts it? Obviously, the crisis bits and debatably there is a crisis of a sort on the front of the minority. This particular minority leadership has faced very troubling circumstances, right from the incidents Dr. Draman referred to, the incident involving the Ayariga bribery scandal. Recall that in that particular incident, the same appointment committee was where all the issues evolved from. We had uh, Mahama Ayariga making the allegation of, uh, uh, you know, Bache Jako bribing some of them. There was um, the backing of that allegation by Mr. Blackwa, by Hassan Suhini, and then the others on the you know, committee, Muntaka Mubarak, to a certain extent, Harun Idrisu, disagreed. And since then, the backbench have had their own concerns about the kind of leadership that they've provided. Over the years, of course, this is politics. So what else do you expect? They need to find a way to rub shoulders and pretend as if there isn't much to deal with. Um, but obviously now the chickens are coming home to roost. We wait to see how things will unfold. But to, to you know, one final point. What if Mr. Blackwell is um, deciding to resign from the committee also because of the position that the party took as far as Mr. Kenoferata is concerned and him feeling that to a certain extent the appointment committee is not being allowed to make the necessary recommendations and take the decisions and someone else at the top is sitting in caucus meetings at the level of party leadership and deciding on what the way forward should be. That's also really a possibility. In that case, and it won't really be the problem of the minority leader per se. In that instance, and yeah. that would be my immediate reading of it. His okay. resignation okay. is coming on the back of this latest approval, which we are told is very much linked. So then that would well be the case. But this revolt, if I could put it so, <laughs> actually started from the general approval of the very first batch of ministerial nominees, um, the likes of Dominic Mitwo, the likes of um, Ambrose Derry, where we are told that the leadership of the party again had agreed with the minority leadership that those specific individuals should be targeted because of their role in the security situations ahead of the December elections. And eventually, after the party collectively had taken that decision, the leadership then decided to leave those two individuals of the hook and rather bring in the likes of um, Kojopo Nkrumah and um, Hawa Kumsen and Dr. Koto Usefri as the targeted individuals. And then we saw the broad revolt by the minority MPs who then decided that if the party are taking a decision and new leadership in parliament are taking a different route in terms of those that the party should target and frustrate the approval, then the backbench was going to revolt. And then we saw a lot of them voting for those that the leadership said they shouldn't vote for. And obviously, this is a continuation of that. My reading of this going forward is that, as usual, this is politics. The next few days, they will sweep it under the carpet and the fire will keep burning until they probably <laughs> explode. Well, Joseph, it's very refreshing to hear from you and to also get your perspective on this. So we'll hang our we'll hang our, our boots on that one. I'm sure that we may have to have a conversation similar to this as the days progress. Thank you so much, Joseph, and enjoy yourself wherever you are. Joseph Opoku Gakpo, the uh, parliamentary correspondent uh, uh, in in uh, 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 at at uh, what's the word from, from afar, if I should put it that way. Uh, Christy Parker Wilson, you're still here. So wrap up with us, uh, wrap up for us what is happening. Oh, it looks like I, lo I lost Parker there. Well, that's okay. But let me tell you about taxes. And I'll also tell you about some of the reactions that have come on the back of the, uh, the swearing in of the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, on the back of whose approval we're having all of these conversations and these development going on in parliament. What